Hi there, my name's Damien. So, have you ever wondered what the guest experience is when you're inviting someone into Teams, or maybe you're an administrator and wondering, how do I get that guest added? I'm going to show you the two emails that are received when a new user is added to your tenant, but also how an Active Directory administrator might add that user. And finally, it wouldn't be a demonstration without a bit of Power Automate. If you're looking to skip ahead, look in the description below and I've included a few links so you can jump into the bit of content that's relevant for you. So let's go ahead and jump into Azure AD and see how we add those guests. So here we are in Azure AD and I'm going to go ahead and click on the Users tab and it's here that we'll see our existing users. So into New Guest User and here we can provide various parameters like the name, the first name and last name, but the most important thing is the uh, email of the guest user we're looking to add. So I'll go ahead and add that information. Now this is one of two methods for adding an individual user. I'm going to go ahead and type in a welcome message and this information is sent to the user when the email is sent automatically. So I'm going to add in a group and I'm going to choose my sample team group and had I wanted to I could add them to several more but we'll move along now and get them invited into our tenant and therefore into the group. So you can see now that the user has been added to the group successfully and also they've been successfully invited and we can see the new user here below. And if we click on that user, we can have a look at the, the various details. We can see that an invitation has been uh, sent out to them. And if at any point that guest hasn't received the invitation, you can resend them that invite. So what we'll do now is we'll jump back into Azure AD and into our group and we'll go ahead with adding a guest using the second method. So we'll select the group we're looking to add the guest to and then we'll navigate to members and we'll add a new member. And we'll go ahead with supplying a new guest email address. And you'll see here that because it's not recognized, again, we're given the option to provide a personal message that will be supplied with the automated email. So we'll go ahead and type that and invite them. And so now that it's success successful, we'll select that user and this will then add them into our Office 365 group. And we can see that now on screen. So just like the previous user that we added, if we go ahead and select them, again, we can see the various parameters related to that user. We can see that they've been invited. But unlike the first user, where we're able to provide the first name and last name during the creation of the user, we can go ahead here and edit the details of the user and update the record on our tenant. So you'll see here I'm just updating the first name and last name and we'll go ahead with saving that. So jumping back to the group and back into the members we can see that we have both the, the two users that have been added using this method, the different methods for adding guests. So enter our users You'll notice that any of the external users will include the abbreviation EXT, and these are the guests that are on our tenant. So now we're going to look at what the invitation email looks like. So here we have an example of the invitation email. You can see that the invitation was sent on behalf of the Aberdeen Demo Dev environment. So this will relate to your business environment. It was sent by DemoBird365, that's myself. And you can see here the personalized message. And finally, the accept invitation button, which the end user needs to click on. So when they go ahead and click on that accept invitation button, it will launch the Microsoft Apps tool on the browser. And the end user needs to accept that invitation and pass on their details to the guest tenant. And basically, that's all they need to do now is accept this invitation and wait for this process to complete. So once completed, that's then now accepted the tenant and they'll receive a second email. So that email now welcomes them into the group that they've been invited to. And here they have a button that allows them to open the Microsoft Teams. Now for this example, when I click on open Microsoft Teams, I'm going to launch Teams within the browser. So I wait for the browser to launch here. You'll see here the sample team that I've been invited to. 
And if I move to the top right here, you'll see that I have both my personal tenant and my guest tenant that I've been invited into. So now, how can I add a guest via Power Automate in the Graph API? So here's an example cloud flow. It's a manually triggered flow, and I'm asking for the email address for that user. Then, using the Graph API, I'm posting to this endpoint. And you'll see within the uh, JSON parameters below, I have the email address from the trigger. I have the uh, default uh, URL that the user has pointed to. I have the fact that the invitation has been sent. And I have the invitation message that we saw in the two examples in Azure AD. And then using the add member to team action, I select the same team as before. And from the body of the previous graph API, I retrieve the ID of the user. We'll get ready for a test, but before we do, let's have a look back at our team. So here in Teams, we can see the two guest users that we added before via Azure AD, via either the new guest user, or by selecting the group and adding a new member. And if we go into Azure AD, we can see again these two users. So if we jump into the flow, select Manual, and let's go for a test. So it asks me for a unique email address. I'm going ahead with a little trick here with Google and just add in a, a, a dot in between my alias. I hit done and let the flow run. So the flow goes ahead, it invites the guest user, it adds them to the team and we can see here the email address that I've supplied. And if I go to the add a member to team, you can see the ID that's been pulled. And if now, if we just go ahead and look at our team and refresh the screen, you'll see that the guest user has been added. So here we go, we'll just expand that, and here we got our new guest user. And similarly, with Active Directory, if I go ahead and refresh, we can see our new user that's been added. So that concludes my demonstration. You've seen the two methods for adding a guest via Azure AD. You've seen a quick example of a cloud flow and, and how we can use the Graph API for adding a user. And you've seen the two emails that are received by a guest when they're invited to a tenant for the first time. Both the invitation email that they must accept in order to become part of the tenant as a guest, and then the subsequent group email that they are included in to invite them into the Office 365 group. If you have any questions about the process or if you'd like to see the cloud flow in more detail, please leave your comments below and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.